Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds. And I have with you guys uh, Diamond in the Rough, but he is actually one of the top uh, small school prospects this upcoming season. His name is Josiah Aziram. He is an offensive lineman out of Eastern Kentucky. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. Thank you for having me on here. So, yeah, uh, if, if not, if people don't really understand you, your, your school, I mean, you guys uh, are, are able to put up uh, – you know, a lot, a lot of passing yards there. You guys have been very effective, um, you know, and you yourself, you know, really uh, part of that offensive line, really helping uh, your quarterback do some great things. So um, just kind of want to get a chance to meet you, man. I had a chance to meet him uh, a while back ago and uh, wanted to go ahead and see who's protecting for him. So Josiah, um, Give us, uh, give us your background, buddy. Tell me where you're from, and uh, get us to get us to EKU. So uh, I'm originally from Hilliard, Ohio. Uh, it's a suburb within Columbus. Uh, grew up playing uh, football, basketball, and track and field. Uh, actually, before I did track and field, I played soccer, uh, but my dad pulled me out of soccer because he didn't feel like I was that good. Uh, in high school, I played uh, defensive line, mostly like defensive end. And uh, in towards in, and then during my senior year, I played uh, in the interior in nose and three technique. Mm. And uh, while I was in high school, uh, I had four offers, uh, University of Cincinnati, Bowling Green, EKU, and Youngstown State. Uh, I The Cincinnati, which was the biggest school that had offered me, they wanted to uh, have me play on the offensive line. And I didn't at the time I saw myself as a defensive lineman. So I didn't really want to play for them at, at that time and I ended up uh committing to EKU. And my first two years here at EKU played defensive line and then going into my junior year, uh had a meeting with my off uh with my head coach and he felt like it would best help the team if I was on offense. So that's why I am on uh attack now. All right. Well um We'll get to talking about that a little bit, but um, I do want to backtrack a little bit during um, your high school days, and I believe it also carried over into your college days as well. I mean, you did some track that kind of carried over, right? Yes, I did. Uh, I ran the 100 uh, in track and field. I uh, also did some throwing events. I, I mean, as a big guy, I mean, those are the events, I guess, that, you, that the big guys do. You know, you get this... Uh, this guy who and just say, hey man, chuck this thing as far as you can, uh, which when uh, given a shot, put fifty four and seven inches, fifty four uh, feet seven inches is what I was able to pull up for you, which is fairly respectable number, um, but um, able to do some good things, uh, you know, with the throwing events. So uh, any, um, I don't know, any other memories of of you in that sport, like specifically? Uh well with track and field it was it was kind of like uh only really like crazy mem I don't really have like any like crazy memories of track and field it was always just a fun sport to do uh during the spring uh, the main reason I did track was actually because my dad wanted me to run the hundred and so I could stay in shape for football but I I also knew like if I was gonna like help out my track and field team, it would be through throwing. So of course. that's why I did the shot and uh, the disc, and I ended up being being pretty good at it in high school. Yeah, I mean, um, I, you know, yes, I mean, it is important to stay in shape. Maybe uh, do a little bit of running, um, and so maybe your folks wanted you to to just kind of do that. But of course, uh, excelling, uh, you know, in throwing events. I do believe you did a little bit of that at EKU, right? Uh, yeah, my freshman year of college, uh, after the football season was over, I emailed the track coach and asked him, like, hey, like, I, I'm interested in walking on to the track team to be, like, a thrower for you guys. And he said, sure, yeah, you can uh, throw, you can come join the team. And I was on the track team for the indoor season before COVID hit. Interesting. Well, um. You have a very interesting story, man, of, of a guy who um, was a defensive player uh, and now an offensive lineman who's um, widely considered one of the best uh, small school prospects this season, a guy that might actually hear his name drafted. So uh, definitely a very interesting uh, 
you know, development that we have going on here. So um, uh, obviously you found yourself there at, at Eastern Kentucky. A couple other schools wanted to keep you at defensive line. So, uh, but they, they, that's the team that we're, we're like, we'll let you do whatever the hell, uh, you know, you want. But uh, ultimately they did switch you uh, on the offensive line. How did that conversation go, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it was it was it was really funny because after my sophomore year, you know, after the COVID season, you know, we came into that uh, next semester. Uh, uh, I, uh, someone, someone's calling me. I'm trying to figure out how to end it. it it's all good, man. Uh, just keep talking. Can you still see me? I can still see you. You're you're good. Keep going. Okay, okay, okay. Well. Um, so I had a comp. So every day, like during that uh, off season, after my uh, sophomore, after my sophomore year, every time my head coach saw me, he asked, he would ask me to uh, get into a, a tackle stance. And I used to like just try to like purposely like mess it up, but he would. But I think he saw through it, and he was like, "Nah, you gotta keep your foot down a little bit more, and do this and this." And he would do that for about a month, <laughs> and then. Around towards the end of February, I was I remember I was going to a, a defensive line uh, uh, room and I ran into our head coach. He said, uh, yeah, <laughs> get into a tackle stance real quick. And I got into it. He was like, and he was like, yeah, I'm switching you over the offensive line. I feel like it would best like help the team. <laughs> so I was, and I was like, at, the, at first I was like, damn, because I really didn't want to make that switch. But you know, I, I'm perfectly fine with it. That's fine. So, what? Uh, so, how long has it been at offensive line? Two years. Uh, this is my third season. Third season. Offense. Third season. Well, um, uh, as far as I know, you've um been playing right tackle, correct? Yes. So, um, and I think the the one thing about you that sticks out um is the obvious, man. You a big dude with these long ass arms. Um, when what the information that I got on you is that your arms are close to 36 inches, which is absolutely elite, insane, whatever you want to say. But I mean, that really separates you. Um, as a player, as a guy who's um trying to get to the next level, what do you feel separates you from everybody else other than that length? Uh, I feel like for me, what separates me is my athleticism. I feel like you know when I get in trouble, I'm able to move my feet quick enough, especially in pass pro that I can recover quickly from maybe if someone hits me with a good move and my technique wasn't all the way there. I feel like that's one of my biggest like strengths. Gotcha. Well, I mean, uh, Hey, uh, definitely a very athletic guy. So still fresh to the position, but I mean, athletic enough to hold his own. I mean, and I think right now what we're looking at is a guy who has yet to really see his potential. If if you understand what my meaning is, if you've only been doing it for a few years, man, I mean, sky is the limit, man. You, you're going to just continue to grow and grow and grow as, as a player. Um, and we'll see how that's going to end up. Uh, I mean, obviously you're going to end up in the pros here soon, but I mean, we got a season to get through first. So um, cool. So, Talk about that offense, man. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, blocking for, you know, one of the better F FCS quarterbacks out there in Barker McKinney. Uh, but um, uh, talk about that offense that you've been a part of now for a few seasons. Uh, it's definitely been fun being a part of this offense. You know, having someone like Parker uh, as your quarterback, it's it's definitely very, very uh, – It's a he gives you like a very confident feeling when you go out there. Like you, like whenever we're out there with Parky, like you, you always feel like you can score every single drive, no matter who you're going against. Yeah, and um, you know, you guys were put to the test this season. Um, early on, I don't know who did the scheduling, man, but I mean, you guys are up against like two FBS opponents, and it's like holy crap, man. I mean. You guys aren't FBS, you're FCS, and you had two back-to-back -back ones that are like, good God, man, like um, Cincinnati, uh, Kentucky. Um, that had to be a rough uh, rough outing those first weeks, man. I mean, how are you going to uh, bounce back from that and um, deliver a solid season from here on? 
I mean, yeah, you know, starting off the season with uh, two power five teams, you know, that's 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 that that's not easy at all. You know, you have Cincinnati who was in the playoffs not too long ago, and you know, Kentucky, you know, they've uh, you know been in the top twenty five, you know, the past like five or six years or so, and so you know, that's two very good power five teams you have to go against to start the season. But you know, we're you know, every day that comes, you know, we just are we're trying to get better as a team, and you know, we, you know, when no matter whether we win or lose. It, can't have your like you can't have your head down you just got to keep pushing through because you know we're obviously we're not in a spot that we want to be in right now record wise but we know the guys that we have on our team and we know that we are we are a good team but we just got to take it one day at a time one game at a time really so other than the position change um what has changed the most for you uh, since coming in as a freshman up until now, man, I mean, you've obviously gone through a, a whole lot of development. So uh, let me in on it a little bit. Um, a lot of things have changed, you know. You know, when I first got here, it was I was under a completely different coaching staff. And, you know, when Wells came in, he made a lot of things happen. You know, he had got the facilities all updated and, you know, he got us new a lot of new gear and stuff like that. I've seen the campus be renovated. You know, a lot of different faces have come into the program, especially, you know, with, you know, transfer the transfer portal and all that, and, you know, guys coming in and out. You know, it, it, things have definitely changed a lot since I first got to EKU. Yeah, I mean, um, transfer portal is, uh, it creates a madness, man. I mean, who knows who's going in, who's going out. I mean, uh, you yourself maybe could have gotten in there. I mean, was that ever a possibility? Uh, I never really considered jumping into transfer portal. You know, jumping around from place to place was never, it's not really in my DNA. It's not really my style, you know. Plus, you kind of want to finish what you started there. I mean, um, you're switching positions. You know, you have the coaches in place that believe in you. Um, understanding that offense, like you don't want to learn something new, at least out of the gate. I mean, um, cause you're just trying to get, uh, get things going there. I mean, uh, but, uh, it, it certainly makes sense. So, um, you guys, uh, like we've already mentioned, uh, you know, there, uh, with your team have a very explosive offense. Um, and so I just kind of want to hear from you, man. I mean, of all the games you've been a part of, uh, is there maybe a moment that you can kind of walk me through, like maybe one of your better highlights out there? Uh, I think one of our, our our one of our best games was last year. It was against Northern Alabama. I, I remember as an offense, I mean, we were just firing on all. It was, it really ended up being a shootout uh, between us and Northern Alabama because they had a running back that was really really good, and he was uh, he was just tearing it up and. It was just I I know I I played well and our whole offensive line that played really well. Our receiving core was clicking and Parker was doing his thing and you know I think that was definitely that was one of my favorite offensive performances to be a part of. Gotcha. What is maybe one of your favorite plays that gets called that um, you just love here and love having the opportunity to go out there and execute? What's that one play? I feel like it's any of our inside zone plays, especially if I get a one-on-one -on -one matchup. I love, uh, you know, pass pro is kind of fun, you know, but it's also a challenge, you know, having someone run full speed at you. But anytime you get like in, what's inside zone and it's just you and one other guy and it's just, you know, who can win the line of scrimmage, I think those are really my favorite matchups. Nice, nice. Um, uh, Obviously, uh, one more season to go. Uh, so um, we're hoping for some more great memories, some more opportunities to run that inside zone. So um, we'll see what happens. But um, I do want to take a moment, Josiah, just to kind of get a chance to meet you um, really outside this game a little bit, get kind of, you know, meet the guy under the helmet. So uh, go ahead and uh, tell me a little bit about you, whether it be your hobbies, your uh, interests or something. Uh, give me a little something uh, to share with the folks. Well, anybody will tell you, like, I'm really, like, a chill guy. I love being around my friends, you know. Usually, like, on the weekends, like, if I'm not doing anything, I'm just at home watching college football. 
Uh, I definitely love to play my, play my Xbox. You know, I'm a big Madden and 2K guy. Love playing some me some Call of Duty. Like going out to the movies and watching the new Marvel or DC movies that come out, or any type of action movie. Really, you know, I just I'm just I'm really laid back and chill. Really like love family man too. Love being around my siblings and my parents as well. You know. Cool. Um, again, been at Eastern Kentucky now for a while. So I mean, I'm assuming you, uh, you already have a degree. Like, what's the situation there academically? So uh, I graduate this semester actually with my business degree. Cool. So, um, hypothetically, when your uh, football career is done, man, what do you see yourself doing? Uh, well, honestly, uh, I love uh sports media. Uh, I love watching like first take with Stephen A. Smith and Undisputed and, and those shows, you know, so I've really thought about, you know, getting into like maybe like uh, the podcast world or maybe like maybe being like a sports commentator or something along those lines. Well, I mean, that would be an interesting, uh, you know, take on things. I mean, obviously, I think a lot of us would love that. I mean, um, you know, you love uh, sports, you love the game, you love being able to talk about it. Um, get on podcasts like this, uh, talk to people, you know, about, you know, them and their stories. I mean, which is really one of the highlights of my day. Um, so uh, nice. Um, I, I do have a, maybe a couple more questions to throw your way. So uh, some fun ones just to kind of, uh, I don't know, see your likes, dislikes, favorites or whatever. So um, you had said that you're a bit of a movie guy. You like the Marvel stuff, the DC stuff. So um uh, favorite superhero uh when i was younger it actually used to be ghost rider that was actually my favorite superhero uh i loved you know i thought it was just so cool like how his like head would just start catching on fire and he'd be like that flaming school right around his motorbike and he's just burning the streets but uh now as i go, got older uh black panther became my uh favorite became one of my favorite superheroes because like you know with the movies with uh Chadwick Boseman I thought he did a did a really great job with those movies oh yeah I mean and the the crazy part is is like he was doing those movies while dealing with cancer and I don't, yeah. and, and nobody knew that and he was able to deliver like an excellent performance and you're like what what he's he's gone I mean that was a huge shock Man, I, I I don't know what to say, but um, definitely uh, an actor that I personally miss. Um, he's had a lot of great uh, great movies. So, uh, Forty Two was a movie he was a part of as well. That was a great one. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, so um, a couple other things again, just for fun. Um, favorite breakfast cereal. You know, <laughs> funny thing is. is I probably I am not a big fan of cereal. I haven't really eaten cereal since I was in elementary school. Really? Okay. Well, um, all right. Well, uh, kind of along those same lines then. Let's say a favorite comfort food. Favorite comfort food? I would say honestly for me, it would probably be a, a good old cheeseburger. Good old cheeseburger. Where are we going, <laughs> man? What uh, is there a place around there like um that you like getting at? I mean, like, are you going to like in and out or where are you going? uh usually I, i'll probably go to wendy's and get myself a burger if not wendy's dairy queen and if not there we have uh we have a cookout here in richmond that's one of my favorite restaurants to go to awesome um uh so uh, again from uh hilliard ohio um yeah. and so um i was just gonna ask you um what's the furthest you've ever been from home uh <sighs> I'm trying to think, you know, I've been out of the country a lot, you know, uh, my, I'm of Nigerian descent. So I've been to Nigeria before I've been to Jamaica, I've been to Canada, you know, I've been out of the country quite a few times. So I've, I've been kind of used to being away from home a lot. Gotcha. So, um, is there a place that you'd love an opportunity to go? <sighs> I really can't think of anywhere that I really want to go. You know, I've been, to a lot of different places. I think the one place I have always wanted to go and take a vacation to was was Los, Los Angeles. I've always wanted to go to the city of angels. Well, you never know, man. I mean, maybe uh the the Los, you know, you know, the Los Angeles team, 
might uh you know take a chance on you um i do know that they watch these things we know that for a fact so uh the you know ram so uh we'll see we'll see what happens with it so um all right uh just i do want to close up shop it's been fun just kind of chit chat with you about a little bit of everything but um obviously uh you want to get yourself to the next level here very soon you want to hear your name called uh, on draft day and um, obviously want to finish out a great season. Uh, and so um, talk to all those scouts out there, man, tell them what they would be missing if they didn't take a chance on you and what kind of guy they would get if they did. So uh, close this out with your pitch. Uh, to all the scouts, they would, if they didn't pick me up, they would be missing out a guy that could Help out that their organ help out their help their organization take themselves to the next level and a guy that's willing to come in and learn and grow and put in the work and be the best possible player that he can be. Yeah, and um, I I I can't help but think uh, again that you are there's so much untapped potential maybe that maybe you just haven't gotten there yet. I mean again. Only been on on the offensive line for a few years, has elite length, man. Again, thirty six inch arms is just a, a an insane number, you know. And and people really need to see that. Um, someone's gonna give a chance, give you a chance just for your sheer measurables alone, man. Um, but I mean, obviously, you're bringing a guy who um is willing to learn, uh, willing to be a team player. Um, and that kind of you know you can't. You can't not love a guy like that. But um, Josiah, thank you so much for your time. I do wish you um, all the best this season and beyond, all right? Thank you for having me. No problem. Josiah Azirum, uh, he's an offensive tackle out of Eastern Kentucky. Uh, check this guy out this season.